Hello, this is Ed Delgado, the National Predictive Services Program Manager at the National Interagency Fire Center with the significant fire outlook for December, January, and February, March of 2018. We're currently entering into a La Nina period across the Pacific, which is going to affect our weather patterns over the next three or four months across the United States. Uh, mostly what we're going to see is uh, dry and warm conditions across the southern third of the United States with colder conditions in the interior of the Great Lakes and the Plains. And that also puts parts of the Northwest and the Northern Rockies in, on the track for getting significant winter precipitation. And we're already seeing signs of that as we've, as we've experienced very warm and dry conditions across the Southern U.S. with cold conditions in the interior and a good snowpack early in November across the Northern Rockies and the Northwest. As we look forward into the fire season for December, we don't generally have a lot of areas of concern this time of year except for the southern coast of California where uh, offshore Santa Ana type winds are possible, uh, especially uh, uh, with strong in, uh, incursions of cold air into the Great Basin, we could see those winds pick up. And that's going to continue pretty much through the winter season into the January, February period for Southern California. And as we get deeper into the winter uh, and into the early parts of the spring, we should start to see conditions drying out across the central and uh, south central parts of the United States, particularly eastern New Mexico through Oklahoma and Texas, where we start getting into conditions where grasses across the plains become susceptible to fire. And so we could see an increase in fire activity there as we see an increase in drying conditions and potentially an increase in drought conditions across the region. Over the Ohio Valley and parts of the eastern United States, we could see below normal conditions when we typically see increases in precipitation and snowfall during La Nina years. And so that's the outlook for this month.